guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different and that is a DIY half experiment, half tutorial. So I used to do a lot of arts and crafts with my mom. She's kind of like a Martha Stewart arts and craft queen. And every time I would get a magazine that had some sort of craft, for, especially for the holidays, I was all on board. You know, as I've gotten older, I've kind of put that crafting itch aside, if you will, and I haven't really done a craft in a really long time, but I came up with this idea and I really want to try it. So yes, this is a little bit of an experiment, so we're going to see how this goes. So the actual craft is going to be to recreate this little bow clip, and I got this on Nordstrom. I was going to feature it on my blog, and unfortunately it sold out the morning I went to shoot it, so I never got to feature it. And I was sad because it's so cute and I'll definitely still wear it, but as I was putting it away one day, I realized that this is actually something you can make at home super easily. This was $30 from Nordstrom and you can seriously make it at home for under five. So the actual bow just has simple materials that you can get at Michael's. I got all of this stuff at Michael's earlier this week. It's grosgrain ribbon, alligator clip, or a safety pin, a little beaded brooch, and some hot glue. As I mentioned, I have not tried this before. I think I know how to construct this just based on like looking at it, but we're definitely going to be figuring this out as we go. So fingers crossed that this is a successful DIY. All right, I'm getting into the actual crafting part. So for this first one, I wanted to recreate it almost exactly like the pin before. So I'm gonna use this red and white striped ribbon, which just seems very holiday, kind of like a little candy cane. Oh God, I'm probably gonna burn myself 50 times with this. So the first strip, it just looks like one piece that goes like that, which are folded into a V. So I'm just gonna test it out on the table here. Use this as a guide. So that seems just about right, but I'm gonna add a little bit more just to be sure. It's hard to tell, but it's actually folded over kind of like a fake hem. Sure, if you have a sewing machine, which I do not in my apartment, you could sew this. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. This is just a really cheap hot glue gun from Michaels. So far, so good, and I haven't burned myself yet. Here we go on the other end. All right, looking good so far. So this is gonna be this back piece right here, which is, as you can see, folded into a V. So I'm just going to kind of play around with the position of it until it matches that. Oh shoot, I, made, I already realized a mistake. What? Okay, I've already realized a mistake, but don't worry, it's an easy fix. Because you fold it over, the other side needs to be glued the other way. So I'm just gonna literally cut this off. That's the mistake I made. See, learning as we go. And it needs to be on the flip side. There we go. Voila. Man, sometimes I just impress myself. So I'm gonna use this to line it up. Then you're going to glue down the actual V, so flip it up where it will be. The good thing about hot glue is it is still warm, so while you're doing it, you can kind of position it and reposition till it gets exactly where you want. And so there you have the back end here. And then for the, these two pieces, it's basically, it looks like two loops. One is about one inch longer total, so it's half an inch on each side. So I'm gonna cut those. I'm just gonna test it before I commit to the glue. That's like the fun part about DIYs. Even if it's not perfect, you can kind of just make it work for you and up to your taste. You don't have to get the colors that Nordstrom has if you want to do your own. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. It's just a quick iron to really get those edges. Perfect. And then the little guy. Voila. Okay, so now it is time to assemble the pieces together. So for the bow, you're just going to find this seam, I guess, on both of them, or direct center, really, I should say. It doesn't matter if it's the exact seam. Some glue here. I'm actually even gonna put some glue here to put the loop down. And now I'm going to glue the V down. And the trick here is just to make sure that where you have the, the seams coming up, that's gonna be your back. So you're gonna wanna do it on the front so it's, the front shows on the other side. Line it up where you want it. And you have the base of the bow. Okay, so now it's the fun part. It's adding the little accoutrement and I'm going to start with a bead. What should I do? Kind of think 
this pearl one is going to look the best. You're just gonna, again, hot glue is our friend today. I'm gonna add some around and find the center. So I actually bought a few different kinds of clips. I thought it could be kind of fun to do a barrette, although this one might be a little too aggressive. There's smaller barrettes. These are all from Michaels, like the beading crafting area. And then I got little safety pins if you would prefer a safety pin. On the back of this one, there's an alligator clip, but I don't even really know what kind of top you would wear where the alligator clip would work. So I just decided to stick with the safety pins. And these are the kind that have like the flat back and then the actual pin. With these, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you have it oriented in the correct way and then you'll glue on the flat side and stick the glue right onto where the bead is so it's at the sturdiest part of the bow. There we go. And you'll just let that dry a little bit. Ooh, God. Still wet. Still wet, people. Oh, what's happening? So that is basically how you do the bow. Obviously, you can experiment with different types of ribbon, different colors, different types of beads. I obviously have a ton of selection here. And I actually might whip up a few more um, just to show you some different looks. I didn't even burn myself. That's a real victory. Let's whip up a few different more. This is actually really fun. It's kind of therapeutic to do arts and crafts. I can see how people get addicted to this. Once you get the hang of this, it actually goes pretty quickly and you can just get creative with all your fun ideas. You go and fill this whole length of it. I'm not gonna lie, this turned out way cuter than I had even imagined or thought I could do, and I'm so proud of this, and I'm so glad you guys came along for the experiment. Hopefully you guys get to try this at home, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment with your feedback or something else you want me to try. Now I'm like, I've, I think I've got the bug, the crafting bug. I'm gonna go set up my crafting room now. Hey, can you hear me? Well, I have to show you, I did the cutest arts and crafts for my blog and I think you'd be so impressed. I was channeling my inner niche. Are you going home? Well, la di da, that's fun. I'll send you a picture. Are you impressed? So some of them are safety pins, some of them are little barrettes. I was pretty proud of myself, I knew you would be proud.